Let's talk good health, a potential game changer that involves actual games. Tonight, researchers say there is some new reason to hope brain exercises really can help ward off Alzheimer's disease and more. Brain games. For years, we've heard that exercising your brain may reduce your risk of dementia. Well, now scientists think they can prove it. It's one of the first interventions that we have found to significantly reduce the incidence of dementia across time. Dr. Jerry Edwards studied almost 3,000 patients for 10 years with an average age of 74 and found those who did so-called speed of processing exercises reduced their risk of dementia by 33 percent, some by almost half. And it didn't take long, just 10 one-hour-long sessions over five weeks. The games, like this one by Brain HQ, ask users to identify images as they pop up on the screen more and more quickly. 67-year-old Bob Harmon wasn't in the original study, Ooh, but nice decided shot. to participate in similar research after his wife and daughters noticed subtle changes in his driving. It's something that comes very, very slowly, and you don't know what's happening to you. Since doing the exercises, he says his driving's improved and he can multitask better. It just really gave me a view into what my processing capabilities were. Researchers haven't figured out why the effects of doing these exercises have lasted so long, but they do recommend that anyone over 50 try it. The brain is very plastic. It's still learning. It can still, you know, uh, be, you know, be made stronger like any muscle. Earlier studies of Brain HQ found users also had fewer at fault car crashes and a lower risk of depression. The exercises are available online for about eight to fourteen dollars a month. So That's check cool. it out. Yeah. Use it or lose it. You gotta right. you gotta use your brain.